Hello, anybody who's watching this. Welcome to my reaction to Evinical review. Evinical? Like Bionical, but Evinical? I don't know. Wholesome Edition trademark. I've chose this video to do because I can't put Seth and Wholesome in one sentence. So I got very curious. I'm also running out of Seth's videos. So recommend me something, I guess, in the comments or in or use my donation link in the description below and I'll get to it as soon as I can. Because in the comments I might not do it. Um and yeah, Enrico sounds a little bit familiar, but I doubt it. Hey, hey, people, Seth here. Oi, oi, Mina, Sesu, Kokoni. Today, I'll be returning oh. to the accursed land of Japan to play a game that was gifted to me long ago. Eventical. Okay. Published in 2015 by Alice Soft. Same guys who made one of my favorite games, Sengoku Rants. Now, the game got released mm. on Steam with a full English translation. At first wow. glance, I thought this was some cutesy Japanese visual novel with a lot of erotic smut thrown in there without much substance. But this time, I see stand corrected Wait. story you play as aster a man with a dream and a simple yes <laughs> i played the... is it incriminating saying that i played the porn game to no. marry both of his sisters. Quite typical as anime plots go. Also, don't worry about yeah. the anime art style. I've done some clever substitutions to make this video more approachable by a Western audience. Enjoy. However, okay. in this world, every human is bound by a set of divine laws devised by Holy Mother Eve herself, the creator of this world and all of its inhabitants. You can only... He's gonna say it, but to prove that I've played this weird game is that I think the plot is he wants to marry his sisters and whoever else he desires, but he can't because only the knights with high rank can have like a harem thing going on, can have multiple wives. So he's trying to become like a top or a bottom. Anyway. screw one person. The person you screw is the person you marry. If you break the sacred rules of monogamy, you get branded by the Dark Souls logo and you become yeah. an outlaw. Anything an outlaw grows will wither away and die. Any animal they tend to will get sick and die. Anything they ever create will fall apart and become useless. Because yes, outlaws can't produce that. anything, they have to steal, plunder, and murder just to survive. So, to avoid getting your ass cursed for the rest of your life, you gotta follow the law. This law sounds good on paper. In practice, it's absolutely dysfunctional and creates it a is, social yes. class of people that are forced into criminality and have no hope yes. of reintegrating with society. While Eve is the creator of humanity, that doesn't mean she's not completely <clears throat> retarded. Eve has okay. essentially created an artificial apartheid state, which defines human as anyone following her law and dehumanizes anyone who intentionally or unintentionally strays from her path. And by this, I mean you can become an outlaw against your will. If you get kidnapped and forced into a struggle snuggle with your captors, yes. guess what? You become an That's outlaw copious. because you did not That's participate her. in I monogamy. Remember it's and for that very reason, beginning. you are cursed and damned for all eternity to carry the Dark Souls trademark. Essentially, your own god, your own mother, your own creator participates in victim blaming. There is, however, a tiny loophole. Becoming a knight, a defender of a yes. realm, a paragon of virtue. Hopefully the sound is not too bad for me. From monsters and from people of a lower socioeconomic background. Fuck them. A knight of significant standing has incredibly strong genetics. Genetics which the goddess recommends spreading far and wide so that yeah, later generations can make use of their strength. Which means the higher your rank, the more wives you're allowed to have. It's a game about doing great Ridiculous. deeds, crushing evil, and saving the world just so you can grow your ever-expanding harem. That's right. The I almost beat this game, but I gave up. Polygamy. But you know what? I played it for the story. The lore I doubt it, Seth. Lot. And I feel not an ounce of shame saying this because I am a red-blooded male, damn it. Anyway, you and the rest yeah. of the gang slash harem travel the world yeah. solving spooky Scooby-Doo mysteries. And that's about it. Oh yeah, also, some organization is 
using geopolitical tension and there. unrest to engineer a world war because they believe humanity would greatly benefit from having another generation of boomers. Gameplay. Any questions? No? Yeah, I think the footage is quite self-explanatory. Quite yeah. obviously. There's a turn-based JRPG. You make the move, yeah. you kill the monsters, you get the cash money, and you get the opportunity to level up. Because yeah. you can't just level up immediately in this game. You have to visit a telemarketing company or buy a pre-recorded level up sound from your local retailer. I'm not making this up, by the way. Yeah. The Merchants Guild also makes an appearance in this game. Since every merchant is either a cross-dresser, a trap, or transitioning into a trap. Over time, you rank up as a knight, you spray baby batter inside another woman, and your party expands. Up to five people, by the way. But the most yeah. important question on everyone's mind, what about pregnancy? Well, don't worry about that, because in a venicle, Ew. everyone uses oh. contraceptive magic. How that works is a mystery. A convenient mystery. You know what else is convenient? A venicle can be played entirely with one hand, which is ideal for people who've suffered a hand or wrist injury, such yeah. as myself. If you're well, suffering yeah, from yeah. the same affliction, I do recommend a water-based lubricant to speed up recovery. So, if you have a son, your wife's son, or a grandson, I would recommend buying them a venicle this Christmas so they can work past their untimely disability. The game itself yeah. is quite linear, and your time will be split between combat and reading. So to be honest, playing this with one hand, if your second hand actually is damaged in any way, it's probably the worst thing you can do because you can you then can't you don't have to like stop playing and uh you know you, you got what i mean surprisingly the dialogue <clears throat> is actually quite good i dare say it's very entertaining there are choices you can make during this game but much like western rpgs these are false choices that don't actually make a difference criticism now while the story and the narrative are very interesting and captivating i must explain something to you that i cannot stress enough this game is not for the faint of heart i've seen some shit. I can't show you what I've seen, but through the clever use of imagery and metaphors, I can describe it to you. Because I'd like to share my traumatic experience. Think of a woman as a bowling ball. Because, just like a bowling ball, a woman has correct. She's got three of them. Think of a man as a delivery man. What does he deliver? Sausage. But he can only deliver one at a time. The very first H scene in this game involves yes. a bowling ball. I almost dropped it bowling ball getting stuffed with multiple sausages without consent however consent or not the fact she had multiple sausages inside her makes her an outlaw yes realizing this that's she why the system tries is to remove a dark souls logo by severing her own fingers after being told she can't just remove from software's trademark from her body that it will grow back on a second finger she begs you to remove every finger every toe and every digit that could possibly hold it this same bowling bowling ball can't really catch a break, since later on she gets stuffed all over again. The risk of pregnancy makes her lose composure that shit, and I don't she remember refuses that. to comply with a sausage delivery. Upon hearing this, one of the delivery men exits the scene and returns soon after with a kettle filled with boiling water, which he intends well, to use a as contraceptive to sterilize her from inside out. Much later on, I actually got close to throwing up. You see, besides delivery men, monsters can also deliver sausage, but this sausage can't really fit inside a bowling ball. So, I saw a bowling ball get stretched out and broken by a monster twice their size. But that's not the end of it. I might have left out a tiny detail. Oh yeah, right. The monster was not fed for weeks. He wasn't hungry. He was starving and i got to hear a bowling ball desperately plead, scream and cry for her life begging yeah. the monster to please 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 use her instead of eating her why seth Just why it clamps down tight no no seth on her neck and finally please no 
final score. I give a venical and all right out of I don't know what I was expecting, so don't expect objectivity from me. It's a pretty condensed package. A compelling story, good characters, and yeah. titties, music, and combat that eventually does get quite challenging. Whether yes. intentionally or not, I got a very wholesome conclusion from Evanical. A game about polygamy. It convinced me that I'm perfectly happy with one woman because more than one would drive me insane. And her name is Catherine, my one and only waifu. And I'm prepared really? to fight okay. all of you, 1v1 on Command and Conquer Generals, or Zero Hour if you prefer, to prove my undying love. Unfortunately, Evanical is still quite expensive because putting a game on sale is an... Actually, I think I didn't get far with Cat Catherine. Was it Catherine or Kathleen? Caitlin, I forgot already. I didn't get far because she appears very late in the game, and I cared about other characters Alien more. Concept of a Japanese. So if you don't feel right about the price tag or you're not sure, I would recommend trying before buying. And you can grab yourself a copy. Over oh, by the way, I. I I bought it. I I so, bought it. Yep. What are you I, in for? I played non-state approved anime. I told the officer she was well above the age of consent. Oh, how, how, how old not was she? Try it out. Fifty-seven, but she had the body of a twelve-year-old. I tried to explain that it's because she's a half-dragon sorceress. She's very powerful, mistrustful of humans, so she takes on the form of a child. Oh yeah. And she has a huge, bulging food of cock. Does this keep happening to you? Do you wish there was a better way? Well, there is. Express. Hey, unfortunately, the sponsor didn't like the integration. However, really? I don't care. And I'm tearing up this contract. As always, more content to come, so stay tuned. Okay. Also, I now stream on Daylight every Sunday it. on the most unsociable hours possible because ya boy got a contract and he's gonna use the proceeds to fund more hentai commissions. And if you can't catch the Does live show, stream, don't worry, actually. I upload a summary of our Did terrible experiences on the second channel. A warm thanks to the many members of Emergence Guild generously funding and bankrolling these videos. This one, however, is completely free. You're all truly wonderful stay warm and have a good one hey so <clears throat> i'm gonna say a few things about the game itself because i did play it uh it's actually pretty good the gameplay itself is quite nice uh the characters are compelling and the story is not bad either if you can get past well, if you want to, I wouldn't recommend it over a normal game, not like over a non-hentai game. But if you into those kind of games, I would recommend this if you can get get past that um, that unwanted uh, bowling ball stuffing, or maybe you into that you sick fuck. I don't know. But either way, I would recommend that. I would recommend it. That and monsters, yes. Those scenes are not. I, if I remember correctly, they're quite rare. So most of them, most of the scenes are quite not necessarily vanilla, but you know, not unwanted and uh, not. Too big for their own good. What am I even talking about at this point? I've never finished it, but I got very close to the end. I got a little bit bored by the end, and then I was like, ah, I'll finish it later, and with me, if I do if I say something I'll do later, there's a chance that I will never do it. When it comes to games or like watching something, a TV series or a, an anime. So, for you, it could be different. Tell me the comment now. Uh, anyway, thank you anybody who watched this. I appreciate it a lot, and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye. Have a great life, because one of us has to.